I am Grand Marshal Jill Dixon, and I'd like to call to order the commencement ceremony of the State University of New York at Binghamton. We welcome you to join vocalist Kelsey Watts and members of the Binghamton University Wind Symphony performing our national anthem. <laughs> As president of Binghamton University, it is my great pleasure to welcome you this evening. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I would like to welcome members of the Binghamton University Council who are joining us today. They will stand as I call their names. Catherine Grant Madigan, Chair. Linda Beamer. Zachary Hers, Student Representative. Maureen Wilson. I would also like to introduce our other special guests who sit with us on the stage this evening. Laura Bronstein, Dean, College of Community and Public Affairs. Mary Beth Curtin, Associate Vice President for Research and Alumni Association Representative. Gregory Del Vicio, Vice President for Communications and Marketing. Upender Dillon, Dean, School of Management. Jill Dixon, Grand Marshal, Associate University Librarian for Public Services and Collections, Chair, Faculty Senate. Sheila Doyle, Executive Director, Binghamton University Foundation. Karen Jones, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Curtis Kendrick, Dean of the Libraries. Celia Klin, Interim Dean, Harper College of Arts and Sciences. John Cook, Vice President for Advancement. Pamela Mission, Platform Party Marshal, Associate Professor, Public Administration, Faculty Advisor to the President. Joanne Navarro, Vice President for Operations. Mario Ortiz, Dean, Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Brian Rose, Vice President for Student Affairs. Bhagat Samakia, Vice President for Research. Hari Srihari, Dean, Thomas J. Watson College of Engineering and Applied Science, Distinguished Professor, System Science and Industrial Engineering. I would also like to thank the Binghamton University Wind Symphony and our vocalist for their participation in today's celebration. Today we are taking time to recognize one of the most distinguished classes in Binghamton University's history, the class of 2021. This has been a remarkable year for a remarkable class marked most notably by its response to the COVID-19 pandemic. 
And while I think we can see the beginnings of normalcy, we regret that COVID has prevented us from meeting in person for our normal commencement ceremonies. I do hope that all of you will take the opportunity to participate in the socially distanced graduate walks we have scheduled. So let me begin by extending to all our graduates congratulations for a job well done. I also want to extend my thanks to all of the parents and family members whose support and compassion have been crucial in the success of our students. Your role is noteworthy in the midst of last year as students returned home in mid-March, unexpectedly competing for space and bandwidth when classrooms went dark and when you listened empathetically as our graduates explained the travels of learning on a campus, undergoing pandemic enforced social distancing. Given these unique challenges, I know that the class of 2021 has eagerly anticipated today, the day when they are being formally recognized for their achievements. So today is a great day, but I also understand that each of you is missing the camaraderie and friendship of a traditional in-person commencement. I want you to know that I miss seeing all of you, but I'm looking forward to congratulating you when you cross the stage as graduates during our grad walks. So what does it mean to graduate or commence from this university? Historically, the recipient of the baccalaureate degree is acknowledged to have a level of expertise that will allow you to advance or commence in your chosen profession, adding to the quality of life we all lead as global citizens. Similarly, a master's degree signifies a deeper study of a field of discipline, a mastery of the subject suitable to teach others. And of course, the PhD, which means that you have created new knowledge that adds to your discipline's understanding. Congratulations to all of you on this remarkable accomplishment. This is the culmination of a long and challenging journey, a journey filled with the excitement of exploration and discovery, the guidance of faculty mentors, and the friendship of colleagues and peers. Let's think back to the start of your journey, to your first days at the university. For those entering as first year students fresh out of high school, you began by choosing a field of study, nursing or history or engineering, or decided to follow the most popular major, undeclared. Our graduate students, of course, already had a degree, only to discover that the more they knew about the field, the more there was to know. But every one of you was excited to tease out connections between apparently unrelated disciplines or points of inquiry, with your studies becoming broader and deeper. Your research became more exacting your scholarship more penetrating, and your creativity more vibrant and thought-provoking. In other words, you discovered a passion. What I've discovered, and I hope you have too, is that developing a passion involves hard work. You must deeply engage yourself in a subject, learning its inner workings, and investing your time and intelligence. So I hope that Binghamton has given you the tools to find your passion, one that you will continue to renew and rediscover, and in doing so, let Binghamton inform you of your future. I am so proud of you and all of Binghamton University's graduates and the education you have received. Your nation and the world needs your talents. Today, more than ever, we need nurses in our hospitals social workers in our schools, and leaders in government and industry who combine expertise and compassion in their daily work. We need teachers to impart knowledge to the next generation, engineers to develop technologies that save and improve lives, artists and poets who challenge us to do better, and who show us a new lens by which we can view the world. But most of all, we need people who are committed and engaged practitioners working to make society better, one decision at a time. Today we face great challenges, most pressing a pandemic to overcome, and other more existential crises, like climate change, 
that is leaving political, cultural, and social turmoil in its wake. Looking around, I know that there are many challenges ahead of us, but because of you, our graduates, I remain confident and optimistic about the future. I say this because I've seen how you responded to the most frightening and disruptive threat the world has confronted in over a hundred years. The COVID pandemic, as awful as it has been, has brought out the best in Binghamton. I've seen students volunteer to bring food to isolated seniors stuck in their homes because of COVID. I've seen nursing students step up to assist people at our testing stations and pharmacy students volunteer to provide vaccines that will bring us out of the pandemic. And I've seen Watson students step up to help design 3D printed ventilator pieces and ultraviolet sanitizing stations so that hospitals could better treat patients impacted by the novel coronavirus. In fact, every graduate we celebrate today has sacrificed part of the traditional college experience so that all of us, our campus, our community, and our society could be safer and mend faster. So I've seen the power and commitment that our graduates can muster when duty calls. These are people who have dedication and imagination, people with skills and expertise, and most of all, a passion for solving challenging puzzles. All of you together have helped Binghamton conquer one of our biggest challenges. So I'm confident that all of you have the fortitude, the skills, and the knowledge to succeed in whatever endeavors you may pursue. I look forward to learning of your many future successes and hope that you will remain steadfast members of the Binghamton University community. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Provost Donald Neiman. Hi, my name's Don Neiman, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs at Binghamton University. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to commencement and to congratulate you, members of the class of 2021. 2021, that's a year none of us are likely to forget. I wish we were having a traditional commencement with the event center packed with graduates and their friends and families. I know that you and the special people in your lives wish we were doing that too. But we're all getting used to doing things a little bit differently to keep one another safe. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel but we want to make sure that we all get there safely. You are a remarkable group of students. At the time you applied to Binghamton, you demonstrated that you had the academic ability to succeed at one of the best universities in the United States. And since you arrived on our campus, You've not only shown that you're very bright, but you have demonstrated that you're hardworking, intellectually curious, and eager to make the most of all that this great university has to offer. You've also demonstrated an amazing ability to adapt during what was a tumultuous end to your time on our campus. Even with the uncertainties caused by the pandemic, you have shown that you have a great sense of humor, like to have fun, and care about serving others. You embody the balance that makes Binghamton University such a great place to work and study. Like all of us, you are facing great uncertainty at a time when you're ready to start new jobs or begin graduate programs. 
But I can assure you that your Binghamton education will help you deal with the uncertainty and enable you to succeed in the months and years to come. It has been a great pleasure having you as our students. Congratulations on your many accomplishments and the many, many accomplishments that I know are yet to come. Thank you and best wishes for success. Congratulations to you, the class of 2021. On behalf of the Binghamton University Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate you on your impressive accomplishments. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to your Alumni Association. You now join about 150,000 Binghamton graduates who live and work in more than 100 countries across the world. As you can well imagine, it is strange standing on this stage speaking to an empty room. I wish you were all here with us providing the energy that we all value. However, this is still your time to shine, to reflect on how the last four years of hard work, relationships, and yes, laughter have informed your time at Binghamton. I do hope that this is a year where you have found things to celebrate where you have tapped the inner recesses of your imagination to find joy, comfort, love, and friendship during a time when it has been just as easy to feel sadness and frustration. Together, we are all realizing how important it has been to draw on our inner reserves. As alumni, we share the strong foundational base that higher education has provided us. It is a strength which will sustain you in the days ahead as we emerge from these challenging times and as you move to the next phase of your life. So when you ask yourself, how will I look back on this unique time? 20 years from now, what will I have learned? How will I remember myself? Did I create opportunities through the circumstances around me? I know you will be among the most successful because you are a Binghamton Bearcat. The family that you built on this campus will grow exponentially if you take advantage of staying connected. So I want to give you a charge today, specifically four steps to guide you in your days ahead. Number one, display your Binghamton diploma with pride. Number two, be informed update your contact information, and follow us on social media. Participate in our extensive online learning events and mentorship opportunities. Number three, remain involved. Come to campus. Participate in alumni events around the country. Sign up, show up, because truly there is no telling who you might meet if you step out of your comfort zone and participate. And number four, make new Binghamton connections. When you come across another graduate out in the world, use that common bond as an opportunity to open a door. In a time when we are all recreating our stories, I ask you to stay engaged, create the best version of yourself, and make your mark on the world as a proud alum of Binghamton University. Welcome to our club. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. President Stenger, as provost, I have the honor to present to you candidates who have fulfilled all their baccalaureate and master's degree requirements as prescribed by the faculty. In addition, I present our doctoral scholars, all of whom have devoted themselves to the rigorous pursuit of advanced study have obtained the highest distinction awarded by our university and have made original contributions to knowledge in their respective fields of study.
for those who have successfully completed all degree requirements by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the Board of Regents of the State of New York, I am pleased to recognize conferral upon each of these graduates the appropriate baccalaureate, master's, or doctoral degree with all the rights and privileges accompanying it. On behalf of the Binghamton University community, I congratulate you all for this well-earned accomplishment. At this time, I'd like to introduce Kelsey Watts and members of the University Wind Symphony once again to perform the Binghamton University alma mater. At this time, we would typically be shaking your hand as you cross the stage. However, with the unusual circumstances this year, we instead hope to see you at your grad walk for a socially distanced congratulations. To our entire class of 2021, we wish you the best and hope to see you soon. The 2021 commencement proceedings of the State University of New York at Binghamton are now concluded. Thank you for joining us.
Thank you. 